Muy buenos dias, senoras y senores. As you guys can clearly tell, we are live down in Chester Subaru Park here for the Media Fantasy Camp. We're going to hang out, play some soccer, just check out what's going on here. I'm excited to see. I'm really not sure exactly what's going to happen here today, but all I know is we're going to get some good content. So welcome, guys. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, look who I found here. <laughs> One half of Doofy Brothers. How you feeling, man? Great. I'm so excited. This is going to be the best day ever. Luke, so I want to ask people here today. So look, huh? pretty good. But are we the best team of all time in MLS? So far, don't don't even look at the playoffs yet. Best team in MLS history. I don't think we can say that yet. Okay. I'd say we're up there. We're, we could we could be top that. Okay. But I, I, I don't think we could make the, the claim to that just yet. I think we're there. Or we're getting there. Go follow Doobie Brothers. Come on, guys. Yeah. We got AJ McClung, the other half of Doobie Brothers. <laughs> What's, What's up, man? Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing good, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. So I want to ask you, because I asked your brother, is this union team right now looking like the best team of all time? I think best team of Philadelphia sports of all time. But you could ask me that any year, and I'd say the same thing. Yo, NBC Sports, hire him. <laughs> yeah, all positive. All positive here. And as always, go follow Doobie Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Catrino, Sporting Serotonin, Views from the Bridge. Paul, question of the day. Is this Union team the best of all time? Yeah. Yeah, you've never had a front three like this that's clicking like they do. I've never seen more gorgeous football from this team. This is the best team of all time. I mean, if he says it, it's the, it's the truth. It's the truth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look who I got here. We got Tyler Zuli. What's up, guys? From 97.5 and Tyler, how are you feeling, I'm good, man. I, you know, I'm here, I'm, you know what my plan is today? What's the plan? Don't get hurt. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> You're if like I'm, the union gets Pachuca. Exactly. I, I didn't even want that game to be played. I, if, I, if I'm being honestly. honest, I didn't want that game to be played. Thin bench, and you know, I didn't want the, the, the regulars getting that much run. I, I didn't love it. it. Didn't love it. But came out with it pretty healthy. So, so Tyler, you're a man of Philly sports. So I want to get like your so. analysis <laughs> of this union team from your perspective. This is, I've been having this battle for a while. This is the best union team I've ever seen. Um, they have so many different ways to beat you. They have a bench that is better than some of the teams in the league starters. And I watched this team for 90 minutes. They control the game from start yeah. to finish. Okay. And, you know, I was walking there, you and I have talked about it before, where it's like methodical, it's very deliberate, it's very controlled. They don't even need to be that. They do it because they're good at it. But technically, they don't even need to be that. That's how good this team is. And one more question. Yeah. And one more question here. All right, so. Okay, can I interrupt? What's up, Coach? Of course, we Jim can interrupt. Jim, what's going on, Coach? Good to see you, man. We'll catch up, Jim. Sounds good. All right, so, emotion to Sunday. Dougie P, what do you feel? I mean, first minute you put, you, sit, you put your eyes on him. Listen, I, nothing but respect for the guy. I love the guy. You know, first championship ever. There's, if Don't boo the guy. Give the guy a standing ovation. And then when the game starts, there you go. The Jags stink. But actually, that's not true. The Jags are a pretty good football team to shoot. They look good. They're scoring in different ways. But when they before the game, give Dougie P his love. He's definitely seen that session before. Oh, yeah. Once or twice. Ladies and gentlemen, look who I got here. It What's up, man everybody? What's up, What's history? Oh, my kids. Yo, Tuesday with the Sixers. Today with the Union. There you go. All these chips, all these chips coming to Philadelphia. And we're just, we're part of it. We're part of it here. You know, if there's Philly sports, Philly sports guy is there. My so I, man. How you feeling about this team, though? The, the, the team you're wearing right now? Oh, I tell you, they've had a great season. They're breaking records all over the place, scoring many goals, be holding teams to goals. I can't wait. I can't wait. No, it just so happens that we play, the Eagles play on the Thursday when the championship is going to be here in Philadelphia. And I, I'm ready for LAFC to get their butts over here so they can take their whooping like they're supposed to. And we can get that, we can get that cup. All right, All right on, a, on a Philly sports note, you ready for Dougie P Sunday? I'm ready for Dougie P on Sunday, yeah. He's going to hear from you, isn't he? Oh, of course he is. Of course he is. It might be a little soggy, you know, but the rain ain't going to stop the Philly sports guy. We're going Maybe to be the there. paint, but not him. Exactly. <laughs> I'll be there loud and proud and doing my thing. And it's going to be a lot of fun this Sunday. And then, hey, you know, I'd I love to be here with the union here. We're taking part, be a part of history here because we're going to get our first trophy. First trophy gets in the, it gets in the cupboard this year. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, 
Yo, Pat, you ready? <laughs> I am out of shape. I'm smelling a goal. I'm very, out, I'm very out of shape. I haven't played soccer since I was five, so that was 28 years ago. You know, I'll guarantee you something. I think you can get a goal past Kincaid. It's not good. Oh, well, yeah, because he's not here. <laughs> you know, some people ain't about that life, so this is good. Mr. Pat Gallon, I have to say, yeah. that was an incredible goal, sir. <laughs> Thank you. So when are I we, would not call that incredible. But when are we going to get you out on the starting 11 here? Well, we'll see what happens here today. It's possible <laughs> they offer me a contract on the spot, <laughs> but I don't think so. Pat, great job. Yeah, man. Thanks Thank for what you. you do. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Coach Jim Curtin over here, ladies and gentlemen. Jim, thank you so much for today. Absolutely, man. One, first off, congratulations on this year. You've done a fantastic you job. The athletes definitely speak for itself. But I want to ask you something. You started here in 2015 yeah. as the interim. Mm -hmm. For someone who's starting from the bottom, what would you give them as a word of advice? Yeah, look, uh, again, it, it's a grind. And I think you, you learn a lot sometimes in the losses in life, you know. So, again, it's, it's how you respond to them. And I think, uh, you know, with the hard work, good things start to happen. You know, it's a simple yeah, message. But, uh, uh, again, learn from the mistakes. Learn from uh, the losses in life. And uh, eventually things will go your way. Absolutely. We're, we're an example of that here in Philadelphia, for sure. Absolutely. And one more thing. Listen, you know I'm surrounded by America. U.S. Men's National Team yeah. fans. You know I am a Colombian National Team yeah. fan. So how can we get you to be the coach of the Colombian National Team? <laughs> I think that's a little long ways off. You guys are doing just fine in Colombia. A lot of great players. I uh, always loved working with the Colombian players, playing with the Colombian players that I have through my career. Um, and I wish them the best of luck. Jim, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That does it for our action down at Subaru Park. A big thank you to the Philadelphia Union for having me in this media camp. Look, I have a lot of work to do when it comes to my, my foot movement and just my ball work, just dribbling a ball in general. But it was just a lot of fun being behind the scenes, being in the locker room, hearing from Jim, hearing what the union have gone through, building that club up to what it is today. It is truly special, it's truly remarkable. I've been covering this team since 2019 and where we have gone since that year, it, it's truly special. And growing up with this team too, this wasn't a team that everybody wanted to root for, even soccer fans around here, but the narrative has changed and the union are doing a lot of things right. And it's, you know, doing little things like giving back to the media who covers for the covers for that team, building the just the relevance of that club is truly big and special. So thank you to the union. Thank you to you guys for checking it out. Make sure you guys like, button, subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm in Parcero Philly. Dupont.